Hello, I'm Mitch Lamro, and I'm going to be talking to you about just-in-time production and backflush accounting. For so long, companies have been oversupplying their warehouses. This leads to high carrying costs and other wasteful costs for their inventories to go along with it. In wake of this problem, many companies have moved over to just-in-time production, which is also known as lean manufacturing. Just-in-time means that the company produces just what is needed for their operations when it is needed. Hence, there is a reduction in inventory amounts, which means there is a lower carrying cost to go along with storing the products until they are sold. It also means that it eliminates these wasteful other costs that go along with carrying a larger supply of product. Just in time led to new accounting procedures, including backflush accounting and backflush costing. Backflush costing essentially combines the raw materials and work in process accounts is a shortcut costing method and doesn't really record any middle costs until the products are sold and then they are flushed back through the process of producing the I items for the costing procedures. Backflush costing is an easier costing method because it cuts out all necessary calculations in the work in process inventory accounts. This leads me to talk about backflush accounting. Backflush accounting pushes to have small amounts of inventory since it goes hand in hand with just in time productions. One thing that backflush accounting also does is it focuses on broad company goals instead of small minute goals which may have no impact on the business as a whole. Backflush accounting is also very easy to do as it eliminates the work, work in process accounts and all other small detailed accounting methods. There are some limitations with backflush accounting however. The first is that it does not comply with gener generally accepted accounting principles or GAAP. The next is that it does not answer the necessary questions that may be asked in the audit as there could be some problems with the costing methods used in backflush accounting. Last, there is a controversy of the disposal in the work in process account as some companies consider this account very vital for their costing and pricing methods. All in all, backflush accounting is a good accounting process if you are just trying it in a managerial standpoint, but not so much when trying to comply with GAAP and auditors.